We are Wooden Spoon Wargaming and welcome to the channel. With your host, Unprofessional Hobbyist. We can be found across varying social media platforms here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and our own website www.woodenspoonwargaming.com Time zone appropriate greeting to you and welcome back to the channel. This is the second part in our Return to the Rock. A short vlogging series in which myself will go on about preparation for the Gibraltar Grand Tournament 2020. So, big army reveal, Gene Steeler Colts. I know, it's not very competitive, but it can be, but I like to think I've got a bit of a, a list which will make a bit of a difference. So I've gone for I've gone for a brigade and a what's the first attack one again? Outrider. Cold to the rusted claw for the bikes, because I like the stratagems for throwing five demolition charges at a time and I believe the mass bodies in this army, I think there's a hundred and four models in all. I'll include the army list in the description below and on the blog post on our website, which is www.woodenspoonwargaming.com, where I just ramble on about army plans and stuff like that. So here's my little humble painting desk. At the moment, you can see Neophyte hybrids on the go there's 50 of them in the army and after painting 50 i pretty much lost the will to ever paint any more luckily there's some acolyte hybrids coming up next and then on the painting desk will be the ridge runners glyph truck bikes and characters first of march and the army is really starting to come on now so I'd add a bit more long-range firepower to it with the uh, mortar teams, three of them, or well, three teams of three. I'm using the Cadian Hostile Environment Troopers from Forge World, that's where the resin bits come from. Just to add a bit of uh, firepower so you can hit stuff that you can't see. As you can see in this photo, what it is is me doing a bit of hobbying and also listening to podcasts. This podcast is by Vanguard Tactics. They can be found on YouTube. Uh, their own website, Vanguard Tactics, and also iTunes, stuff like that. It's a really good podcast, really enjoy it. The feel of it by Stephen, the, the main host, is great, and it's a really good listen. I'd recommend it to anyone. So here we go, this is what I normally have my painting set up like. What I do when I'm batch painting, because it's the only way to do these sort of guys, is I'll have like one area... Well, the guys who have not been done are here and then uh, for example right now a bit castle and green the grenades on the back i take one guy i'll paint him i put him in the line these are the ones that have been done so i know that they're good and i don't miss bits so you don't have to go back and get more paint out so these guys to do then these guys and then a lot more because I am sat here with about 46% overall of the army done and sorted. But we're getting there. We've got practice games coming up. And I'll be doing a quick vlog of the games in total. Of me and the three other guys that are coming to Gibraltar. And here we go with practice day. Well, what can I say about practice day? It was good fun. With lots of snacks. A board to my conservatory. It's a lot of work to do with them, honestly. There's a lot of painting to do. But hopefully in future videos you'll see them all painted up. These objective markers you're seeing on the table, they are made by a company called 3D6 Wargaming, based in America. You send them your design, and they do the rest. Really great service, and customer support. So... What to say about practice day, Sean and David? Uh, we, I learned a lot about the army, but and I learned a lot as in that uh, I need more practice, a lot, lot more practice. So the games I've played with the Colts so far have been relatively uncompetitive ones. 
mainly against lower tiered armies as such as a call but coming against these ultramarines successor chapter I found that are struggling to deal with the damage you could output obviously marines are a shooty army nowadays and I just need more experience with the army so oh, it's time to fall back on the knights and I think I'll take knights definitely to this tournament so I, I know the army I've got an army ready in my mind Oh, I'm basically going to copy it off uh, Mohawk Miniatures J because he's do apparently he does quite well at events being like ITC number one in the world for Knights last year. So we'll see how that goes. We've got some more practice games coming up this time at Warhammer World. So here we are at the beautiful Warhammer World in Nottingham. More practice games and more confusion from people walking past going why your objectives set up like that. So it was a good day. As you can see, it took my knights, the Purple Avengers, as people call them. I don't know why, but the game was good. Taught Dave a lesson and smashed his ultramarines in a revenge for my uh, Gene Steeler Colt mulling. And then along came the 17th of March, and the news which no one really didn't expect because of COVID 19. The tournament's was phoned. So, a massive shout out to all the SN Battle Reports team. So, we as a group know that this is a massive thing for them to, well, firstly, organise, undertake, finance themselves, put on, run, organise, all the adjectives you, you can think of. But as a community, I know everyone's 100% behind this. And now it's just a case of stay at home, wash your hands, and wait for the all clear, and then carry on with normal if you can. But obviously the world's going to be a different place. But Warhammer still goes on after washing your hands, of course, and then washing your hands after you finish. But uh, hopefully we'll see another video made, and I'll make one when we get the good news. Thanks for watching this video. Take care. If you if you liked it, please consider subbing to us, liking and commenting, and I'll get back to any comments you post. Take care, bye.